No. I feel pledge. I don't want to hear you say that. Put that umbrella around the one to take it off you. Warum? Dunraven in Streatham is one of the highest achieving schools in Lambeth. John Bailey's here, visiting the MFL department. He's working with head of languages Joe Grimes, who's observing Gustavo Garcia. We get straight to our lessons. Thank you. Thank you. Gus is a native Spanish speaker. Hola, how many? He's about to teach Hola, sentence Jason. construction to a high ability Hola, year years. seven class. Oh. Gus's main performance management target is to cater for different learning styles. Buenos dias, Dominic. Especially Sinal, the kinesthetic. How did he come to set that objective? Part of our department objective is to incorporate um, more kinesthetic learning activities into our lessons. And we all understand that it is an excellent way of engaging the learners. Sí, señor. It takes a lot of thinking about, it takes a lot of planning. Países del mundo. Países del mundo. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo se dice uh, England en español? Emilio. Inglaterra. Inglaterra. Hola. Que copiar la fecha, título y objetivo, por favor. Fecha, título y objetivo. Que también escribir número uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis y siete. This is all pretty good, isn't it? There's a teacher in command. Uh, the, the, yeah. the subject language has been established. Toda la clase mirando la pizarra. Números uno a siete, copiar. Tenéis que copiar y completar. Excellent. The starter is to look up key vocabulary in the dictionary. It was great. I think they've probably been well trained to use their books and use the dictionary. Okay, number five. Mi amigo nació. ¿Qué es en inglés? ¿Qué es en inglés? Sí, Harvey. Is it my friend was born? Excellent, Harvey. He's elicited some vocabulary from the students to fill in some of the gaps on the starter exercise by giving them some sentences um, to help them. ¿Cómo se dice Nigeria en español? Saido. Nigeria. Nigeria. ¿Cómo se dice? Gus has meticulously England. planned the lesson. Inglaterra. But to fit everything in, timing Australia. is critical. En español, Emilio. Australia. 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 Perfecto. Escucha, repite. ¿Sí? He's been going 14 minutes and he's yeah. he's leading pretty strongly from the front still. Yes. Um, yeah. Isn't he? Inglés. 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 Inglesa. Inglesa. Inglés. Inglés. Inglesa. Inglesa. Inglés. 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 Inglesa. 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 They clearly enjoy it, mm -hmm. um, and he really takes his time. He's really nailing it. These yes. children aren't going to leave the room without knowing, understanding uh, the gender difference. William. Irlandesa. Irlandesa. Perfecto. Irlandesa. 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 Toda la clase. Irlandesa. 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 I thought that it was good. I think the visuals are excellent, and that's great for engagement and for visual learners they will remember that really really well Galesa. Galesa. the only thing is i think that it takes a little bit too long in a way chanting has a kinesthetic yes, element yes, it's, it it's not that different from clapping in mm, time mm. is it and so it's got a kind of um it has a, a, a pleasant kind of hypnotic yes. effect estadounidense Estadounidense. Estadounidense. But you're right, the time goes on. Muy bien. Esta palabra es difícil. Lucía, estadounidense. Estadounidense. Perfecto. The chanting has been going for nearly 15 minutes. ¿Cómo se dice from? From. The children still seem pretty engaged, don't they? Yes. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of amazed that they're, 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 they're doing very well considering how long he's been at the front. 
What is the first thing you notice, apart from the fact that they're different words? Uh, Rashon. Nigeriano has an O. See? I wrote down that these children are getting an enormous amount of scaffolding, uh, getting ready for the activity that's going to come. With ten minutes to go, Gus begins the kinesthetic part of the lesson by handing out words for each group to sort into a coherent sentence. Ocho minutos, ya. First group to finish, la mano. So you have no Jamaican. No, I am Jamaican. Because there isn't there. Yeah. I thought this worked really well. This activity. It did. Yeah, it's a brilliant activity. It is an excellent activity, and they are all fully engaged. I think they enjoy being allowed to work independently with their partner, with their small group. But that kind of independent thinking, I think, that, that inspired them a little bit. I like, think, think they, I think that they like the challenge. My friend. <laughs> Okay, does that make sense? You're from Australia because my friend is Australian. The physical activity was clearly pleasing. They liked. Yes. They, they liked the, the idea of sorting. You were born, and this means that means you are. Okay, so Mary. They're saying to each other, "No, this is." This is masculine, this is feminine, this can't be the case. And he's not prompting that, which is showing real independence of thought and from the student's point of view. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. There's all this wonderful stuff happening. But for me, a really great piece of activity has occurred, but it's occurred late in the lesson. Silencio, stop what you're doing, please. There's an enormous amount you could get out of it mm. by talking to the children about how they learned, how they work together yeah. and, and all that. But he's not really going to have time to talk to them about it. No, them, he's not. He? And, no, exactly. And, in fact, we'll see the bell goes before the lesson is really finished. Yeah. OK, very quickly now. Is there any way we can make this sentence better to make it make more sense? Aisha. For Gus's feedback, Joe plans to focus on his timing. Because... But John thinks there may be a deeper issue. Okay, and he's a really good front of the room performer. Yeah. Do you smell any issue that um, that most of the lesson we have the teacher's preferred learning style, and um, uh, we have this nugget of a different learning style, sort of saved up and carefully inserted at the end of the lesson. But he can't bear to surrender some of the time spent chanting from the front and giving a lot of scaffolding, um, which could have been. Which, which the kinesthetic activity itself could have borne some of the weight of? Yes, um, to a certain extent, yes, but knowing what I know of Gus, I think that... I don't think it's the, the case that he's nervous of letting the students mm, get mm. on and work as a group or work independently. Um, I think it's just that he wanted to be sure that they were sure of all the vocabulary that they needed for the kinesthetic activity. Silencio! Shh. Listen up, please. And listen, I'm not the slightest bit critical of Gus in that way. Packing away, do so silently and be listening. Dominic. Sorry, sir. What I meant was that some of the problems that... that you know, some of the vocabulary he wanted to be absolutely sure that they had in place before yeah. he released okay. them. Este lado aquí, levantados. You know, that teacher thing we all have. You know, I've got to teach the children everything. Suck your chairs in, please. Um, probably once every... In feedback, John's keen to see whether Joe will question Gus on his teaching style, as well as the timing issue. I think that that activity was excellent, but it wasn't given enough time in the lesson. Yeah, um, I agree. You had eight minutes yeah. of your no, lesson I agree. for that activity, which was quite, quite key mm. to the lesson mm. as a whole. Yeah, uh, my timing wasn't, wasn't as as punchy as it should have been was partly because I spent a little bit too long, I think, on the uh, core repetition of the nationalities. Yeah. Just because those are all the nationalities that are in the book doesn't necessarily mean to say that you have to yeah, teach no, all of, of those. And some of those the students could perhaps work out for themselves because they are cognates and once they've seen yeah. the pattern... No, exactly. No, you're absolutely right. So I think part of, part of it was, was my failing as 
as a as their teacher really, and misjudging them. So that was that was a, fa a failing on my on my part, I think. But don't be too harsh on yourself. You know, it's, <laughs> you know, for, it's from experience that you learn yeah. that maybe you just needed less vocabulary to yeah. to drill in that choral repetition section and not. Um, and they might have got it quite as easily, and you'd have had more time to to really drill the the point with just less vocab. Yeah, yeah. How yes. much do you think that the students got out of that kinesthetic activity? What is your perception of that activity? Do you think they enjoyed it? Do you think they felt like they were learning? I think I think they enjoyed it, and mm. and when I was doing the when I was helping them, mm. um, it was good because it really focuses on the one bit of the sentence which needs. Mm. which needs changing. Yeah. It was very teacher-teacher-led. Yeah. And their focus and concentration was very good, given that you... Joe's begun to raise the issue of Gus's preference for teaching from the front. But John Bailey wants to push him a little harder. ..their independent task, apart from the start of yes. the very beginning where they were... As a teacher, you're like their dad. You know, if you're teaching someone, you want to make sure that everything's nailed down and, and you're not going to release anyone onto an activity mm. until you're pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, that they know how to do it, and, and, yeah. and that feels enormously safe. And I was thinking, when's he going to release them onto this mm. task? And he's, he's, he so wants them to know what they're going to do. Mm. Um, and I thought maybe it was because um, your know, kinesthetic stuff wasn't really your, th you know, may may maybe wasn't your preferred style. It's not my preferred style, and, and it's precisely for that reason that, that I've recently forced myself into it because I want to develop, so, so I've, I've actively forced myself to do this kind of thing. And I've been, I've been doing that a lot recently with, with lots of different classes. And you're, you're, a, you're absolutely right, I, it doesn't come naturally to me. Because you are so, like their dad. You, know, you, you care a great deal about their kind of safety and learning. And maybe the issue isn't... The issue may not be so much what your preferred teaching style is. The issue may be how much jeopardy you're going to let into your lessons. And, and, and that might relate to every style. You, you know, the, the opposite end to what you're doing is you walk into a room with three packets of envelopes and uh, throw them on the desk and say, you've got 15 minutes to tell me what on earth you think's in there and what it means and what you can do with it. But I'll bet that when I say that, you, you, you probably feel a freeze-on of alarm. You know, that's no way to teach. <laughs> well, no, I mean, like, like I said, I think, you know, variety, there's a lot to be said for variety. So if you could show me how to do that, then I'd, I'd consider doing it if you, if you thought it would, it would work. Has it moved your thinking on about kinesthetic teaching styles before, or are you thinking pretty much what you always did? Um, no, I think, it's, I think it's reinforced how useful those kind of activities are. When you're a teacher doing that kind of activity, you're kind of focused on the small groups and you don't see what the groups are doing that you're not speaking to at the same time because you can't have eyes everywhere when you're mm -hmm. teaching. Mm -hmm. But when you're an observer, you see actually in that exercise, they're all getting on with it, they love it. And I think that it's something that we will now promote even more within the department. Well,